This week on Fishing and Hunting Texas, it's late September, and Clark is heading to the field on his first exotic species hunt. Really, I'm just excited. I mean, I, I'm so I'm so pumped up to be hunting something I've never really hunted before. That, that's what's so cool. And these are giant animals. I mean, they're they're definitely bigger than whitetail. What I'm hunting is is a big, giant, free range in access. You know, these animals, a lot of them were brought in. They started out on high fence ranches. Actually, the King Ranch was the first ranch that I, during my, on my research, I found that they actually imported them on. But there's a huge free range in population now. And, and I mean, it's a harder animal to hunt. And the reason I say that is, is there's not as many of them. You know, when you go after a whitetail, we're down here in South Texas, you go after a whitetail, you're, you're dealing with tons and tons of deer, lots of mature bucks. But when you're going after an axis, I mean, there's not as many, there's just, you know, we, we're hunting an area that's got a lot of them, but it's still not like just gonna be automatic. It's gonna be a hard hunt. Uh, scent control is gonna be a huge key for us. We're gonna be in a pop-up, so hopefully it'll keep a lot of our scent in. We're gonna play the wind the whole time. That's gonna be a big deal to us, and I just can't wait.